Ladies and gentlemen, today was finally the day the walleye cheaters were sentenced. Um, they kind of got a slap on the wrist in my opinion, but they got something. Uh, so they were sentenced today to 10 days in jail. Uh, they got a $2,500 fine and one and a half years probation. Um, and they lose their fish licenses for a maximum of three years. Um, the fine can be reduced. I think I think I read if they uh, make a donation to a charitable foundation for uh, outdoors, children, something like that. Um, they also have to forfeit their boat that they used, which I think is valued like $130,000 or something like that I saw. Um, I don't know. I'm glad they're going to jail. I wish it was longer. But the bigger picture here is for the rest of their lives, they are going to be the walleye cheaters. Okay, They're not going to be able to show their faces anywhere. They can't enter a fishing tournament ever again. They will always be the walleye cheaters. They fill an application for a job. Hey, I remember you guys were famous on the internet. That's them for the rest of their lives. So I think I think that's a fair trade, really. You know, I wish they got more than 10 days, but you know what? Um, the shame of what they did will carry with them forever. Um, everyone in the fishing community will always know those guys, and they're, they're just going to hang their head in shame forever. I mean, they can't enter tournaments. They're not going to be able to do anything normal that they used to do. Um, and I, I would imagine at this point they probably probably regret it because they realized that it was more than just cheating. Um, it would get national attention. Um, so these guys, really, their reputation is, is just toast. Not that they had a good one to begin with, uh, but now, you know, after all of this, they're done. Done for good. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think 10 days in jail and one and a half years probation was enough? Um, I personally was hoping they were going to get like a few months in jail. Um, but they did plead. They, they did take that plea deal. They took, they wiped away the, uh, the felony charge of uh, the felony charge. I think it was the felony fraud charge. I think they got rid of or something. So that was a big hit. But I think really at the end of the day, the shame that they have to carry forever, that's the real punishment. Um, and I'm happy with that. I just love to know what you guys think. You know, it's been an interesting, interesting uh, ride the past few months uh, watching these guys in the news and seeing what the outcome was going to be. You know, I'm glad it's finally over. Um, kind of sad to begin with at the same time because it was always fun getting the updates of what was going on in their crazy lives. Um, but actually, you know, the wildlife scandal may be over, but uh, the other guy still got the charges of stalking his wife and all in the fake money so we'll still hear about him in the future but as far as the wildlife cheaters go their story has come to an end all right guys that is going to do it for the final wildlife cheaters update thank you for watching thanks to everyone who watched all the videos up to this point um remember like the video leave a comment subscribe to the channel it would really help out uh thank you guys and i hopefully will see you all at the next video thank you